This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. All of the Kentucky fans calling for quarterback Drew Barker to play after the team's loss to Florida will get their chance to see the redshirt freshman this weekend. Patrick Tolles is the starting quarterback for the game against EKU, but head coach Mark Stoop says Barker will play. He says he has wanted Barker to see some time, but the opportunity has never presented itself. It was incredible. At times I felt you know, like I would, I just wanted to do it. I haven't pulled the pin. I would love, I would love to play him in this game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and uh, yeah, he will play in this game. And I and I've been wanting to do that no matter what, no matter what the game is. Just force myself, like we've talked about, whether it's the second quarter, the game's on the line against any game or whatever it is. I got to get him some reps. Staying with college football, Miami University is off to a slow start this season, but former Hazard Bulldog Chris Hudson is doing his part in trying to help resurrect the Red Hawk offense. When former Hazard wide receiver Chris Hudson signed with Miami University in February of last year, he was considered by the Red Hawks to be their number one recruit in the class of 2014 after catching 52 passes for more than 1,100 yards and 13 touchdowns during his senior season with the Bulldogs. In his first season on the field with the Red Hawks after redshirting in 2014, Hudson is showing why he was wanted so badly by Miami. Hudson scored his first career touchdown in the very first game of the season, a 10-yard reception on the game's first drive against Presbyterian College, a game won by the Red Hawks 26-7. In the end zone, touchdown! A perfect strike and a connection to Chris Hudson. Hudson finished his college debut with two catches for 48 yards and one score. Last week in a loss to the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, the six foot six wide receiver had statistically his best game thus far. And then lost the running back. Coomer fakes. Now Coomer puts it out there. There's a beautiful throw by Coomer. And there's that big six six target. That's Hudson. First. Setting career highs with four catches for 64 yards. He also recorded his second touchdown of the season. The screen you see 87 Hudson. Here they look to him. You bet. On third and goal, Hudson gets in there and makes the catch. Nice call, partner. 6-6 is tough to defend, and he used the length and the reach, and the Red Hawks are on the board. Here Through the Miami's ball. first four games, Hudson ranks second on the team in catches with 10, yards with 168, and touchdowns with two, and ranks fourth in yards per reception. Miami may be struggling out of the gate, but offensively the Red Hawks are certainly excited about the possibilities at wide receiver for the next several years. Specifically, it's number 87 from Perry County. Hudson won a few Player of the Week awards while at Hazard. How about this week's Player of the Week? Breathitt County Bobcat James Fletcher Collins against Knott County Central last week. Collins rushed for 329 yards on 21 carries with five touchdowns. He also had two catches for 62 yards and completed his only pass attempt for 42 yards, which equal out to 433 total yards of offense and five touchdowns.